10 on the shot clock here. Alex now steps into some space and knocks it down for three. Alex Delaney. So Daisy Nusis, as I mentioned, I don't know if you guys heard me, had 19 a game last week and already a nice basket earlier. She's going to be looking to go for the center of excellence as Zoe Jackson, the North's product, gets fouled. The points will count. Wants it. As Bree, that one's cut off by Satea Fagan. Good swing. Sorry, the floater is good. Off the wing screen. They find Sarah Portlock. Late shot clock here. Sienna Lehman. Good kick out. Daisy Nusis. Bang. Knocks it down. And they get Annie Henderson in the high post. Tipped and lands with three. But good ball movement. Alana Reddy. Bang, bang for three. Doesn't want it. Satea Fagan, her three. No good. And Josie Bullman, another rebound. Whoa. Satea Fagan losing her footing. Zoe Miller. The flip up is good. A great hit there. Got one men in early before their game supporting the ladies as Alex Delaney gets a cheapy rebound and gets two. Great job from the Sea Eagles. Finds Josie, good ball movement. Bree now, they find Jose on the roll. Good kick, good extra. Great ball movement from the Sea Eagles and Zoe Miller, the floater. Nothing crazy there, but a turnover nonetheless. And so now it's Josie Bullman, her rack attack, good kick out. Alex Delaney, wide, open for three. Taya Fagan, they swing it across. Zoe Jackson now looks for it down low, gets it, and just gets the lefty flip up. So Daisy Nusis nearly loses the handle. Sienna Lehman, wide open, knocks it down for three. Good ball movement from the Sea Eagles. As Brooke now, late shot clock, she spins and hits it off the glass. As Gracie Lee gets a catch early, good handoff back to Alana. The mid-range J takes a bounce and just off. And Daisy Nusis speeds the other way. The lefty layup, good finish in traffic there. Both teams doing it by committee. And the Sea Eagles came away winners as Sienna Lehman spins and scores. A tough finish there, and that'll just about do us. Manly will get the chocolates 62 to 48, and they will play again tomorrow, taking on the Bankstown Bruins in Bankstown. We'll see you next week.